Hey folks, Storm Pro here, and today I'll be talking about the latest Chikara expansion set I recently picked up, Ashes of Chikara. For those who don't, who who are not aware, it was released last year in 2014 to commemorate the revival of the Chikara promotion alongside the uh, Wrecking Crew expansion, which I have yet to order or receive, but I will in due time. Start off bridging the gap from last time with that, that I left off with uh, Marion Fontaine is his partner in the tag team Old Fashioned, Jervis Cottonbelly, aka the world's sweetest man. I've heard a lot about this guy. He's kind of like a stereotypical uh, British gentleman. He's <laughs> identified by his uh, his hat and the uh, monocle and mustache on his mask. Stat-wise, it uh, doesn't look too good. Uh, defenses are very below average. One, a down instruction on level 2, and three of them on level 3, and a pin rating of 4. And his, offensively, he's not that, it's not that extra, it's not that great. But he does have an instruction on level 1 defense in which he can, if you roll, on on one on one die in response he can take over on level two. Plus his finisher can upgrade to from the zero to plus one if you roll a, a subsequent eleven or twelve on two dice. And I've had a few times I put him in tag matches with uh, Fontaine and they did win their first match and then lost the second so it's fifty fifty shot for, for either of them I suppose. Next is Shinron. Um, typical high flyer, I guess. Uh, minus four agility. Um, much like much like Cotton Belly, uh, below average, below average defenses. Is offenses are better. He's got an add one on level three and a plus one finisher. Not bad. Uh, he hasn't won a match yet, but I, I got my hopes up. Now this was the card I was looking forward to. Uh, Archibald Peck. I've spoken in a bit of detail about his original card from the starter set. Uh, I, I, I already mentioned that why I don't, never used it. But I have used, did use his Chikarmi number one upgrade from, as, uh, the Mysterious Handsome Stranger, which is basically a parody of Dusty, the, uh, Dusty Rhodes gimmick of the Midnight Rider, and he did okay, but with his latest upgrade, it's much, much better. I know a lot of you who don't know are probably wondering, why is he standing next to a DeLorean? Well, if I went to detail, we'd be here for, we'd be here all day. I would recommend uh, going on his Wikipedia entry and reading his uh, Chikara entry. Um, Stat-wise, much much better than either card. His agility is increased to a minus two, but his uh, power is still a plus three. Not that good outside the ring, but against him, don't throw him into the turnbuckle. Offensively, really great. Two finishers. One's a zero, and the other one is a one to three with the possibility of missing. If he does miss, he ends up getting a fatigue token, so it's a it's an equal risk re reward kind of finisher. Defensively, average, and he's got great uh, his pin ring is one, so much much better, and he's doing really good in my particular Chikara fed, so got looking forward to using him some more. Closing out, we got uh, the trio of the set, the Baltic Siege. Lithuanian, Lithuanian Snow Troll, Latvian Proud, o Latvian Proud Oak, and the Estonian Thunder Frog. Now, this, this was a very, I'm a little on the fence about this particular group. There, the, the mechanics of, uh, of, of Frog and Proud Oak are pretty interesting. Um, uh, Thunder Frog can, can use his hammer if someone, if one of his tag partners rolls out of the ring, which, if used correctly, if successful, it can knock the opponent's 
all the opponents off their feet and increase their fatigue rating. However, you can only use it once, and if it fails, the opponent goes on level 3. Proud, the Proud Oak, he can on, he has an instruction on level 2. If you roll double, if you roll that instruction, roll again, roll two dice. If you get doubles, he can go for the pin. So, I haven't had a chance to use those, but uh, I would like to. Lastly, Lithuanian Snow Troll, nothing special, uh, kind of flooded with um, with Tag and Trios moves, and uh, if you're going to keep this guy in singles, I would, I would recommend doing the same thing I do with uh, in, in Chikara. If you roll a, a tag move in, in a singles match, or a, ta a, a, a tag move in a in a singles match or a trios move in a tag or singles match, just downgrade the move if it's on level one. Otherwise, if it's a three, just keep it a three, and if it's an add one, take off the end, ignore the add one. That that's what has, that, that's the one thing that the all three cards have. There, each of them each of them has at least one tag or trios move. So, I would use that addendum to the rules. So overall, I'd say. Ashes of Jakar is a is a pretty good set, especially with um, with Archibald Peck and some with the improved stats. As for the rest, um, I I have to say it, it all depends on how the how uh, dice the, the die rolls happen. Even the even even a guy with the worst stats can have potential to win. So. I guess that's it. Um, I suppose. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll throw up a straw poll and ask you guys what said I'm gonna do next. But I believe next time I next time I some I post a video, it'll be about the uh, volume three of the uh, Shimmer Game Edition because I I have to add more women to my uh, Chikar fed, uh, not enough to rotate around. So until then, I'll see you next time.